Hey, how we doing? Just sitting there in a, in a car, smoking a cigarette. Uh, you know, I could have said sitting in my car, but I don't know. My parents found this car for me, and I totaled my last car that my dad handed down to me, and uh, yeah, basically, like, Oh, man. I had some pasta earlier. I'm, I'm loving the pasta right now. Uh, so, yeah, this isn't really, I don't know. But, yeah, you don't really own anything here. You know? Because even the people who, you know, it's like, who owns the land? Or whose idea was it to make the land... Like, you know, who, who owns the property? Like, who owns, like, the land? Like, whose idea was it to <laughs> get everybody to <laughs> to buy land and rent land and rent apartments? And that's, that's an interesting uh, Wikipedia search. But, yeah, Stefan Molinex or however the hell you say his name. Like, I understand... That if you're like, I understand like conservative, uh, yeah, it's hailing right now, by the way. It's kind of like just, well, yeah, I would call this sleeting, you know, sleeting. But yeah, uh, Stefan Molinex, I think, uh, well, I mean, I, I used to like be into him like back in the day. <laughs> You know, it's still back in the day for me, but like, yeah, I used to like watch him like, you know, years back or whatever. And, uh, he would be sort of, uh, like, you know, appealing, interesting. Like, he'd, he'd have like good, he makes good, uh, he makes good videos because he has good energy. I don't know if he like lost weight or something. I heard he had cancer, so. But. Yeah, Amanda made a video about antinatalism, and uh, I was just like, oh yeah, I'm not getting a vasectomy, by the way. I canceled my appointment um, to get a vasectomy, so yeah, that's that. Um, just going to wrap it up. You know, if, uh, if that time comes or whatever, so, uh, yeah. I'm also hoping, like, these over-the-counter, these over-the-counter these over -counter medications will help me to, uh, sort of stabilize my sexual desire, <laughs> you know, for, like, adult entertainment and everything like that. You're just, I'll get, like, triggered by something, and then I'll just hop on the adult entertainment sites and just start watching them and uh yeah you know 15 minutes later 20 minutes later and then you know sometimes six hours down the road i mean when i got when i got into uh you know vegetarianism this time around it was like a lot harder for me to uh get off the the porn, and, uh, I was like, what the hell is going on, I mean, it must have just been, you know, like, just kind of coming back to reality, and, I mean, they also say your blood runs better when you're, when you're not eating meat, but, I mean, I smoke cigarettes, so, I mean, I've always been smoking cigarettes, uh, so, I'm, but I'm sure if I quit cigarettes, it's like, that desire would come back quicker, and, all that crap, so, yeah, but Stefan Molinex is, I don't know, he looks like a Jew or something, he looks kind of like Jewish, um, he's just, yeah, oh yeah, I, I know, I know, I know how I got into him, I got into him because, uh, well, Joe Rogan, obviously, that fruitcake, um, yeah, I got into Joe Rogan, and I guess I saw Stefan Molinex, and Stefan Molinex was talking about, uh, medications, uh, on the topic of mental illness, and, um, you know, he was just saying, well, not really on the topic of, but yeah, so dealing with that myself, uh, yeah, like, Seth Molinex was talking about, uh, medication, 
and how it was different, not even medication, but just symptoms of mental disorders and how they're different, um, how they have a different uh, clarification and, and description for for all that stuff in the UK or in Europe or whatever. But mostly I think he was talking about like UK, like England and stuff. And uh, yeah, I, I he like he just had said like um, they deal in their psychology, they deal with what the other person is suppressing. So it's like. Maybe a psychologist here. It's basically just another way of saying, okay, you're hiding something, you're hiding something, you're hiding something. Instead of saying, uh, instead of just like taking a patient's, uh, word as is or taking a patient's word as gold and then just going like right to a book and saying and figuring out like, okay, this person needs this for this mental disorder. Like in the UK, they just seem to be a little bit more understanding or there's just like something, you know, maybe I, I really doubt that they commit less suicide. Like I, I'm, I really doubt that there's less uh, deaths by suicide in Europe or in the UK, but you kind of get that vibe that it's just a little bit, you know, less played out, uh, you know, or less, less spoken out, like it's, uh, you know, there's probably not a lot of people on disability and stuff like that, one thing about disability, if you're on it, you definitely feel shitty if you're not taking medication, man, because there's other people out there, it's like, oh, uh, I'm on disability, you know, basically untreated, I was untreated and, you know, somebody else could have, you know, somebody else could have my life. Um, but I do, I do have a person, a personal Im implication with, with working 40 hours a week. Um, you know, and it, it sucks, man. Uh, it really sucks. So it's hard not to have a, like a, like a vendetta out here and, and just not really be totally uh, just taken back by addiction and how serious addiction actually is. Now, I know addiction is serious all over the world. I mean, you know, people are addicted to fucking fasting. Like, that's fucking just crazy. So, uh, you know... <laughs> There's a difference between inebriated and emaciated, or oh, how do you say that word? Emaciated. So yeah, but uh, I don't know. I just got out of the gym. You know, looking at <sighs> women that want to be fit. It's just like you know cougars and stuff like that. Like yeah, I'm about to go to a uh, an AA meeting. So that should be, uh, that should be interesting just to go in to hang out with some old people that s smell like, <laughs> <laughs> like they've been freaking eating, you know, I don't know, man. You ever just like walk by or you'll be in like a conversation with a meat eater and, I mean, it happens every so often, but, like, I mean, they just stink. Like, it's happened to me a bunch of times. I mean, it's not, like, the smell. It's not, like, B.O., but it's not body odor. It's, like, something, f like, far beyond that. It's it's just, like, it's almost like you can smell a corpse or something. Um, and I've, I've been around a corpse, you know, and it was nothing, uh... It was nothing like that. I mean, I didn't even smell it. And it had bugs on it and everything, man. It was like a poor little, uh... Something. I don't know what it was. It was a... It was a mammal, though, but, um... Oh, uh, well, yeah. I think, uh... I've talked long enough. Huh. Nah...
I've just made so many damn videos on YouTube, but yeah, so Stefan Molinex, man, like, I, I didn't really, uh, you know, like, obviously, you're gonna have, like, a sort of, like, a personal vendetta against antinatalists if you already have children, but I mean, if, yeah, so, I mean, yeah, if you're on YouTube and you're making, like, videos and, you know, you're trying to get clicks or you're trying to come up with bright ideas for who to, to, as to how you can, you know, con, like, come up with the next big con and just be an asshole, um, yeah, you're gonna turn into Stefan Molinex. I mean, another guy I'd like to critique is, uh, Ralph Smart, you know, cause he's, he's so-called vegan and probably even cares about the bugs, the insects, the pests, and, uh, yeah, another thing with Stefan Molinex, man, like, they have a totally different lingo, uh, in England, like, my grandfather's, you know, Scottish, 100% Scottish, or whatever, 100% British, I don't know, but, like, he's, uh, yeah, he's, he's, he's English, and, uh, you know, he, he'll he call, uh, he calls dogs pests, you know, and, uh, and all that. He's also, he's also an atheist, man, which is cool. Yeah, so, I don't know what the hell, you know, I really have to learn from somebody with children at this point. Oh, so yeah, it's fucking serious, man. Like, you gotta be, you gotta be serious, like, with these women out here, man. And this whole MGTOW thing, like, men going their own way. Men going their own way or whatever, it's just like, yeah, it's not a, uh, It's not a good look to be, you know, trying to make women out to be some fucking evil <laughs> demon. <laughs> like, I heard I heard this one MIG Tower, like, say they're, like, demons, and they just fucking hate their moms, man. And they're finding, it, like, they're finding reasons and, like, excuses for hating their mom forehead and their mom's like, so it's just, like, I don't think Stefan Molinex hates his mom, but, or hated her or whatever, but he, he definitely, when it comes to antinatalism, you just really don't have a chance if, uh, if you have a child, you just really don't have a fucking chance. Like, I had a child that got aborted, <laughs> thankfully, and, uh, it took me a while to realize that it was a good thing, and not a bad thing, you know, even if the abortion happened late into the pregnancy, it still was a good thing for me. To not have a child now. Really good thing. Like I'd be so fucking stressed out. And all that shit you know. Another thing I'd be stressed out about right now. Is if I had a. If I didn't have my fucking balls attached to my. Fucking penis. You know. Like imagine having like. Imagine having like. No bones in your thumbs or something like there'll be like some there'll be like some great like you know way of uh de demasculizing men in the future so they like don't have to do hard labor or something and like the surgery will be like remove a thumb joint or just some fucking thing with like thumbs like you you like 
fucking amputate your thumbs just to just so you don't have to do hard labor or some shit like that. I mean, imagine how many fucking people there's going to be in the fucking world soon, man. There's going to be so many fuck like imagine 10 million or 10 billion fucking people on earth, man. Yeah, and like how fucking important Stefan Molnix is, you know, message about the Polynesian, you know, party moms that didn't finish high school. That like how is it how is it going to sound then? So you know, and how the fuck he even got into the conversation, like, it's just fucking, it's just fucking retarded, because he, he really is, like, just a, just a, just a bad person, just an ugly person, just like somebody I would not want to, you know, be sitting next to at all, he's just a, he's, he's just a, he's just a bearer of bad news, it's like, um, listening to a Justin Bieber song or something, you know, like you're at work and you have to hear the same Justin Bieber song over and over again, every day, day in and day out. And it's just like, when you hear that song, it's just like, uh, I'm going to try to enjoy it this time. What the fuck? So yeah, no vasectomy over the counter medication for me, for my bipolar insomnia. Uh, and then, yeah, it's taking the, taking the B12, so, hopefully I'll lose some weight or something, <clears throat> I gained like seven pounds when I, uh, dropped animal flesh this time, but it's just like, I would like be fucking eating, uh, and they say that happens, they say, when you go vegan or raw vegan or whatever, you'll start to lose, you'll start to gain a little weight, um, you know, maybe I haven't been drinking coffee or whatever, but yeah, they, they say that does happen. So, you know, I don't mind trusting some, uh, some, some long, some long goers, some long timers, uh, you know, who've had a lot of experience and not contributing to the mass fucking torture. So, or mass torture of animals, you know, all that shit needs to really fucking stop. So. Yeah. Stop torture. Stop torture. Stop torture.